Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dr And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Tired of people thinking we can't cut it. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. I know a pup that would love to have you around. So, meet Chomper. Hey, Chomps, could you stop nibbling on your paw and say hello? You got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the... Competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears, is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? Nothing's gonna stop us. It's just us in the world. We own our fate here. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but we're definitely going to have an adventure. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the, uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us. Well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. 
You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. We'll probably have to make some decisions we don't want to, but that's how we find out what we truly are. Are you a pup that can smell porcupines and keep your nose out of trouble? I hope so, because I'd be happy to avoid whatever trouble I can. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup, but I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. You really want that window open. You always need the wind in your fur. Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. This is going so well. Well, we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to... Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. I can't say for sure I know what's gonna happen on this trip to the cabin. Sounds like it should be pretty straightforward, but I know nothing is. So we'll just try to follow what we think is right. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary back there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. We'll see what we can truly handle, and what else we might be afraid of. I'm sure it'll put things in perspective. Well, nothing is as scary as manholes. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home.
can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Slayer, Gale, Finn, Stilton. And the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. See that? It's a caribou. Just stay there. Thank you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. Well, that was worth it. Some more food. Two bullets left, team. Let's get back out there. Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! Uh. 
Previous owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Let's be safe out there. I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should... Wow. Okay, Gail, uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Hold still, I got you. You can't just rush into things. Especially things covered in spikes. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, pups. Let's get back out there. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing. I know it's bothering you, but let's mush on. Should we camp? We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. This is a good spot to rest. Mm, maybe we should eat. A fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Food time! Chow down, pups! Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? <laughs> 